Hey people, Shaman Hawk here for Shamanic Lodge. I'm going to talk a little bit about the overview of the strategy of the oppressor. <clears throat> First of all, the oppressor is going to have a good plan, and they do. And they're going to have lots of focus, discipline, and consistency to make that plan come true. And therein alone is one of the big reasons of why just a very, very few people, what we like to call the elitist, can run the lives of the rest of the world population. The next is they want to be able to take the advantages away from their targets, and that's away from us. And we have a lot of natural phenomenons working in our favor, you know. I, I love the example of the hundredth monkey effect. Now, people always get upset. Well, you're comparing us to monkeys. Well, yeah, actually I should, you know. But this is a, this is a theory that works with all species. You know, so if you're not familiar with it, there was this islands or group of islands near Japan and they had these uh, monkeys on there and people would go by and feed them sweet potatoes, scientists would. And the monkeys loved them, but they didn't like the sand on them. And one of the younger monkeys made this thing where he just dipped it in the water, rinsed the sand off and ate it, gave it to its mother. You know, this is how the story goes, you know, and then that worked and then others started doing it and finally they get to a point and they'd like to believe it's like well maybe about a hundred of them you know figured this out and then poof everybody did it and then it just became this thing that happened generally generationally and then they noticed that on other islands that these other monkeys couldn't get to they were doing the same thing so it's like some what thought bomb went out you know some kind of an awareness shift happened and we start looking at archaeology in humans, and we just see these inventions that happened in metallurgy, pottery, art, building, you know, where something just went flash. And it's like all the rest of the humans just got, if not the direct whole idea, they got a part of it, and then they could go from there. This is one of the big reasons why they want to make sure that the people don't really become empowered. And like I said, I say this all the time, we can have paradise on earth here. That would be so easy if just enough of us reached that critical mass that everybody else just really woke up. And, you know, it's interesting, too, how the oppressors like to take some of the New Age terminologies and just give it that weird twist. Like now, you know, Awaken became woke, which is a disaster. And they just take all these things and just like bastardize them to where people don't want anything to do with it because it's always associated with some new age flaky bullshit. They want to push on the censorship and the censorship will keep people stupid because it keeps them right in that narrative. And this is why I'm encouraging everybody to just step outside that box for a little bit. One of the other big things that I, I told people a while ago, you know, put down your phone, go outside. And more people are doing that. And they're like, wow, yeah, I haven't been on the internet in like a week, and I just got a different perspective, a different consciousness shift. Yeah, it's that easy. You know, I talk about how I spent three weeks on a beach in the Black Sea in Bulgaria. No internet, no phone service. I'd have to walk a mile to just check email and then walk a mile back. You know, and finally, we just stopped doing that. And my body went through a big change after the first week. It's like... It was like high-tech detox or something. It was the weirdest thing I'd ever experienced. But it was real. And it's like, wow, my body is really going through a different shit. I feel more human. I feel more connected with the earth. So, yeah, just minimize your time on there because it's just brainwashing. It's just propaganda. And it's just that I really believe it's one of my conspiracy theories. You know how they work out, right? And I believe that they're sending some other signal out there with what we see on the internet. TikTok is the worst one. Man, my mood can just go downhill quick watching five minutes of TikTok. Get good news stories on there, but it's just boom. And that's part of the whole strategy of the oppressor. Censorship. Bastardize any kind of advantage that's coming your way. Pollute the airwaves with just total bullshit narratives. Keep the people in fear. One of the things that I do when I give these people these give people exercises, and I say like the uh, the one I did today on how to create your own tarot deck or divination system, however you want to do it, is if everybody does these exercises, 
and eventually we hit that critical mass, that's one more consciousness shift. This is the true work of shamans, helping people make these big leaps and bounds to really improve the general state of the world and humanity. Human consciousness plays a really important part, you know, on the planet with the rest of the species because, you know, yeah, we, you get these new pet tricks, you know, uh, cats and dogs can open up doors, windows, and all this other stuff. But you start looking at it, but there's a different logical approach that they get from that. And then we can look at them to start to mirror some of us. And then that brings us closer into the community of the world. But, of course, the oppressor doesn't want that. It just wants you focused on your phone, focused on the narrative, and just being that nice little drone that goes in and works every day and does what you're told. Good little sheeple. People, please pay attention to these, these exercises. I'm going to be giving them out for free. You know, I would love to have people leave comments and go, yeah, I tried it. It worked. Um, yeah, the travel thing, I, I can't do the lectures and workshops like I used to do, so I'm just going to give this stuff out. I'd appreciate if you give donations at PayPal, Shaman Hawk, if I can put it into my boat for my environmental work here in the near future. But mainly, do the exercises so it can prove to yourself that this stuff works. It can, I've set out a goal in my life, in my career in shamanism, to demystify everything in the metaphysical disciplines. And I've done that. I've put everything on the up and up. I've gotten the everyday person to totally understand what's supposed to be miracles and mysteries of metaphysics. No. And I can point out another rule that I like to share with people. One of the big reasons that shamans do all this stuff better than everybody else, because we do it more often than you do. And that's basically it right there. The more that I... And other shamans can get you guys and your skill levers to raise up. That really helps us because now we're building this foundation that we can pass on the information. We're no longer holding it. And that leaves us open to new stuff. And then we can share that. And then it leaves us open. And that's how we grow. We grow and get are able to take advantage of the information that's coming our way by releasing what we have to you and helping you increase your skills. And that's just the way that this equation works. So we really want you guys to become more powerful. It's the amateurs, the fakes and charlatans. They want you to be codependent on them. They want you to be um, just going through all their courses and level one stuff. They make level one into five different levels and, you know, call it advanced and intermediate. No, it's all beginner shit. It really is. And I can prove that to you, too, if you do these exercises. Go back and look at the one I did on creating your own tarot deck. Do that exercise. I'll post some more in the next couple days. The strategy of the oppressor, like I said, just wants you to not get this information. They want to make people like me shadow ban, so we can't share this stuff with you. All right? It, it, I promise you, if we can hit that critical mass... You know, just like two and a half years ago, I said, everybody just desire to know the truth about what's going on with this scandemic. And man, more things are coming out, coming, it's just nonstop. Desire to know the higher knowledge. Desire to know the stuff that I know and other real shamans know. And leave comments, leave questions, and I'll answer them. I'll do videos on them. I want you to have this information so we can disrupt the strategy of the oppressors. Catch you guys later.